Hey y'all, so this might be one of our most favorite DIYs. There's nothing worse than people come over to your house, you get your best box of wine, <laughs> you put it on the counter, and it, it's just a box. We're gonna fancy it up a little bit. Actually, step one should be pouring yourself a glass of wine, but I guess we're going to use power tools responsibly, and we're gonna wait till after we use the tools before we pour ourselves a glass of wine. All right, so step one I, is toss wait, the box. Wait, I had, I had something funny. CUI? Crafting under the influence? <laughs> <laughs> Amy. <laughs> okay, step one. Okay. Toss the box. Plastic one gallon paint can is essential. We went through several different options on this from galvanized buckets to, what else did we try? Flower pots. Flower pots, baskets. I mean, yeah. And everything had a reason that we couldn't use it. And we finally settled in on a plastic paint can as the best fancy vessel for our boxed wine. Because nothing says fancy like a paint can. So that's what we're gonna do. We took the black paint can and we gave it a base coat of a cream colored spray paint and we used like a gloss. So the next step is to fill something with water. It can be a five gallon bucket and then get your colors of spray paint that you wanna use. There are no right or wrongs here. Spray it on top of the water and then all the spray paint just kinda of sits on top of the water and you have to work pretty fast. And then dip your paint can down in the bucket, roll it around and then you'll get a really crazy looking marble pattern. Okay, so now you have a super fancy marbled paint bucket. And what we have to do next is cut a hole for the wine spout. So we measured the spout and we have the right size hole saw here. Since we're using the hole saw, we are gonna take a two by four, clamp it to the table, and then we're gonna also clamp the bucket to the two by four so that the bucket doesn't spin when we use the hole saw. Your hole looks really ugly right now, but never fear, we're gonna take care of that. Pull off all the, just the excess plastic that's in there. And if you want to, you can file it down too. Do you need a manicure while I'm here? <laughs> yes, please. This is our version of manicures. <laughs> Next, we're gonna take some vinyl tubing and cut the outside of the tubing so it fits inside the hole. All right, let's put this one in. And then we get to do the fun part of making it look pretty. Kinda have to get your hand in there and work it in a little bit, and then it'll pop into place. Just like that, right on cue. So we have our wine in here, everything fits perfectly, and now we're gonna make a top for our paint bucket and then we get to drink the wine. We've cut some floral foam to size. We've got burlap and we're just gonna cut out around this and then glue the burlap on the foam. So I'm gonna use some craft glue. Okay, so now it's just a matter of you putting in whatever floral arrangements you wanna put in, whether it's succulents or daisies or roses or sunflowers. And then put a little toupee on here of Spanish moss. And what's great about this too is that it's real easy to take this top on and off. So when you empty your bag, however frequently you empty it, you can just pull your top off and place it in another bag. So we got, um, we have a bunch of different succulents here, faux succulents from the craft store. And then you're just gonna put together a cute little arrangement of what you think works the best. All right, can I have a glass? <laughs> You might have earned it at this point. <laughs> and this isn't just for red wine. If you want to do a rosé or a white wine, you just put in a freezer bag in the bottom and it keeps it nice and cool for your party. So now you have a really cute um, wine decanter. Yeah, this looks way better on your counter or on your table than a cardboard box. This can is ready to party. I actually do think it turned out super cute. It's really cute. <laughs>